Hello, Prelude people. Welcome back to my workshop slash shed slash space. Um, so a little bit more on the carburetor series. Um, I wanted to explain a little bit about how the choke heater works. So this guy is a bimetallic spring. When it heats up, it moves. I'm not sure which direction specifically um, from this angle, but uh, basically you have ground and ignition and that causes this guy to heat up like any other coil of wire and when that heats up it rotates and it actuates this little bar right here so as you can see that's moving this mechanism right here which moves the choke flaps open and closed so as long as the ignition is turned on this guy is warming up and it acts as kind of a fail safe to make sure the choke is turned off. Um, if all the other choke components fail, such as your wax case, uh, if it's not, you know, pushing down far enough to um, to activate or to deactivate your staircase, right? So this is your staircase, this sets, and then as the engine warms up, this pushes down. But if for some reason that doesn't work, as this guy heats up, and it pushes the choke flaps open, it will push the staircase down um, to make sure 100% that the choke has been removed. So that's a little bit about how that guy works in case anyone wanted to know. The other thing I wanted to mention is this diaphragm on top has like a plastic cover here. Um, and that actually pulls right here, pulls this little mechanism. So that's attached to vacuum. So whenever the engine actually starts, this guy pulls up a little bit and pulls the choke flaps open by, you know, a few degrees uh, to ensure that there's some airflow. So it's kind of like a, the choke system is a complex piece of equipment. You've got vacuum actuation, you've got, uh, you know, this bimetallic coil heater, and you've also got your uh, thermal wax case that runs on uh, coolant from the engine. So. Um, yeah, anyway, that's that. If you guys have uh, any specific requests for um, things for me to, to point out or specify or show anybody, um, you can leave a comment in the bottom and I will do my best to get to it. Until next time.